is this is a serious question. Who walking around looking like this? Who do you know on your time? Go look on your timeline. You know at least one person on your timeline that's walking around looking like this hot. We're not gonna name any names today. We're not gonna be petty. We're not gonna tag them, but we will share this video because this, this I would consider a public service announcement, okay? Everybody wants to do the nude lip. I think it's beautiful. I'm probably, nudes are my favorite. Everybody knows I'm a creature of habit. Every time it comes to lipsticks, I always go towards nudes. I love nudes when they're done right. And because we got color on us, th their nude is not always our nude. So I've really found the perfect way that we can pull off. And I don't mean, when I say we, I don't just mean black women. We have a really hard time when we've got a little color. We've got a really hard time finding, I don't even know if you can take me serious right now with this lipstick on, but I just get asked this question. This this video definitely comes at popular demand. Like, de so I've gotten death threats about doing this video. And that is my top nude lipsticks for women of color. But first, before I talk about the lipsticks, now I will be showing high end to low end. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. Luckily, I don't discriminate when it comes to lipsticks. If it looks good, whether it's a dollar or 50, I'm gonna buy it. But I wanted to also show you guys some key integral tips on how to make this nude trend work for you. When I remove this lipstick, you will see that I actually have dark lips. In the center, you see some pink, but around the edges, you get that dark ring around. That is what usually I feel goes wrong when we women that have you know darker skin try to pull off those lip colors. We don't know how to how, how do we get that transition from darkness to light to look smooth and effortless. That is really how you pull off a nude is that transition. So the first tip that I have is use your foundation. Take a when you're applying your face makeup, just take a little bit of your brush and run it over the lips. That will create the perfect even canvas. First of all and it already starts off as nude. So you already know that the nudes will blend in with that nicely because it already looks like I'm wearing a nude lip color. It just looks like I'm wearing a matte nude lipstick, right? Once it starts to mix in with the foundation, it will actually bring it down, bring it down a notch and it will flatter your skin tone a little bit more because it's mixed in with your skin tone. So that's one helpful tip. Another helpful tip, actually, this is not a tip. This is actually a, a prerequisite. Before you even touch a nude, if you are, caramel and darker maybe even an almond and darker you have to wear a brown or flesh toned lip liner non-negotiable don't even talk to me about nude until you are wearing a liner and i will tell you why because remember i was talking about that transition dark to light dark to light this acts as a transition color between the two and it makes your nudes blend so much more flattering. That's why people are always asking me, how do you get that color to work? I don't get it. Brown lip color, honey. The one that I'm using today is my absolute favorite brown lip color for all of my nudes because it glides on buttery. This is BFF3 from ColourPop. It's like literally the color of my skin. It's just you, you don't see it. It's just there. You don't really know how the lip color looks good. You just know that it looks good. This lip pencil does that for me. I have about four of them. You have to use a flesh tone. In our case, it would be brown. You have to use a soft flesh tone brown liner to make these lip colors work. So I'm going to be showing you what that looks like with the liner, not the lipstick on its own because I want it to look flattering. And I've got pinks, I've got nude pinks, I've got nude peaches. Everything is pretty much separated by color. I'm gonna be showing you guys what they look like and demonstrating. So I hope that you guys find this video helpful. Again, this is a PSA. So if you know somebody that needs it, share this video, save a friend. You're welcome in advance to all of you who needed this one. And let's go ahead and get started. The first one I'm going to be trying on is probably one of my favorites this season. This one is from Too Faced and it is their Melted Nude. It is a super matte melted nude lip color and I just like it because it is very pretty. The next nude I want to talk about is from Lorac. This one is called Rose Taupe and this is the quote unquote 
Kylie Jenner lip that everyone is trying to claim, even though she didn't claim it. It is a, another nude pink. I love these. These are very, very moisturizing and so flattering on dark skin. And for each of these lip colors, I am wearing a brown liner because I want you guys to see the way it is supposed to look on our skin tone. Lace lipstick from Fashion Fair was hands down the nude pink of the summer for me. It's super, super moisturizing and I just love the transparency of the color and it's like just literally just looks like the lightest part of my lips. I love, love, love this color. Modesty from MAC is also probably one of, at one point was one of my staples, but it is probably the nude pink for those of you that are kind of transitioning into nude pink. So if nude pinks are new to you, I would start with Modesty. It's a quintessential modest pink lip color. My two favorite current pinky nudes at the moment has to be a toss up between Daringly Nude and Nude Embrace. Both of these are from Maybelline. Their matte collection is unbelievably moisturizing and I think that's another key factor. If you're gonna do a nude, it should be moisturizing because just the lightness of the color will just highlight the dryness and the chapness. You don't want that, but they have just really perfected this formula to a T. I couldn't ask for a more moisturizing and just it just literally hugs the lips and the color. Let's talk about the color. Let's talk about the color of Nude Embrace because God, it's everything. Everything is so pretty. And last on my nude pink roster is Nude Cream from Milani. This is a little on the milky, lighter side, so you really have to go heavy on the liner. But trust me, Boo, when you do, it is definitely worth it. The liner really is what makes these lip colors, and I want to kind of illustrate that. I really hope that you guys can um, understand that so that you are able to know that you can pull off these lip colors. The liner is everything. I love the way Milani's formulas smell for the lipsticks and the moisture in these lipsticks are just off the chain. The next two are going to be kind of like deeper nudes. These are the nudes for maybe more my mature ladies who don't want something as bright and as light as the other nudes I'll be featuring. The first one I'm gonna talk about is Teddy Bear. This is also from Milani and it is just like a brown nude. It's got, it's kind of rich, it's got some chocolate in it. So this is for those of you guys that just don't really want something as glaringly loud as the others and as youthful as the others. These are gonna be a little bit more toned down, even maybe evening appropriate. Teddy Bear also has some hints of peach in it. So if you like peaches, this will definitely be the color for you. Untainted Spice from Maybelline comes highly recommended and I'm so glad it was. This reminds me of the perfect nude for my deeper and dark complexions. I also think this is going to be a great color for those of my girls that are in the military that want that flesh tone because this would be considered a flesh tone lip color on us. And they want something that looks like this but that's not too overly overpowering and still has a little bit of color payoff. Great color payoff in this lipstick and the shade is just beautiful and it looks like a, an amazing evening shade. Next, let's mosey on over into the nude peach colors. These are probably my second favorite compared to nude pinks. The first one I'm gonna be trying on is from YSL. It is number nine. They probably hands down have the best formula for lipsticks period. Definitely well worth the price point. Super, super moisturizing. Tons of color payoff and this is just gorgeous. It's just sheer enough to where it's not too loud but you get enough color payoff to where you can see the lip color. This is again number nine from YSL. Their Rouge Volupt Shine. You can literally apply this color on and on and on and on. It's not going to be too overpowering and it's not going to be over applied. It's just the perfect amount of pigment. This next color was my jam for years. This is Peach Stock from MAC. It's a little on the light, milky side, but I am literally cliche YouTube expression obsessed with Peach Stock from MAC. Peach Stock from MAC, girl. I wore the hell out of this lipstick for years and I still love it. Now do you see, now do you see why? Yes, girl, mm-hmm, it's that cute. 
The next peach nude I have is, again, ding, 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 from Maybelline. Maybelline is taking the cake today. And this is a beautiful, beautiful peach nude. It is super moisturizing on the lips, and I love this as an everyday peachy nude color. Sweet Maple from Fashion Fair is the perfect peachy, got little hints of gold in it, and it's just like the perfect flesh tone nude beautiful color it's just it's a nude that surprises you for sure you don't really expect it to be that flattering but it really is and I don't really know a lot of other nudes out there that look similar with the gold specs so I want to talk about this one because I really love it this next lip color is melange this is the lip color that I wore in my parody video the makeup trends we're leaving in 2014 I got so many compliments on this lip color that I had to feature it it is pretty it's got quite a bit of pigment in it so it is kind of nude it's kind of not depending on how you ask but I like this color because it is subdued enough to what I feel to be considered a nude really pretty color and it lasts a long time this next peach lipstick is probably my favorite 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 out of the peach lineup however this lip color changes it's called BFF and it's from Colourpop it's super moisturizing I love 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 the way it applies when you first put it on but after about an hour it looks a lot more sheer so I have to keep reapplying it but when you do put it on it is magic and of course I'm using it with the corresponding BFF lip liner this is BFF number three perfect 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 match lastly are going to be my true nude these are going to be those nudes that are just like classic staple nude. it doesn't get any more nude than this this next lip color good luck finding it is petty beige from OCC lip tar I don't know I mean I guess it's just discontinued I guess it just fell off the face of the earth no one can find it anymore but it is the perfect like sexy night out clubbing nude I love this color not really an everyday look color for me I think it's a little bit more of a dressy nighttime clubbing nude but it's amazing fresh brew from Mac is the perfect true nude but it's a nice subtle true nude it's also extremely moisturizing on the lips and I love this color because it just looks like I'm going to the club with my girls it all it actually reminds me of a nice 90s nude color and you'll see what I mean shortly I could not do a nude lipstick video without talking about Sis Lipstick from MAC. This is like every girl that just starts getting into makeup and they can finally kind of transition into more expensive stuff like MAC. And it's like, oh girl, you shop at MAC? Oh, you shop at MAC now? A large? Sis Lipstick is like every MAC girl's first favorite nude. I think it is because this color is gorgeous. It's like a true nude and it's just like, bam, I'm nude. I'm in your face. Nude, honey. We're here. We're doing it. I love this color. Obviously, it's time for a new one, as you can see. If I want to really step up this lip color, I'll add Revealing Lip Gloss, also from MAC. I can't keep count of how many of these I've purchased. This probably has to be my new, my favorite nude lip gloss of the century. It's so pretty and pigmented, and it's like the perfect peach. This is your quintessential club. This is when you're going to the club. This is that nude. This is that nude. A great and expensive alternative for sis, which is almost like dead on the exact same color, is Honey from NYX. This is a color you have to be careful with. Be sure to wear, this is where nudes go wrong. Colors like these. Just make sure you wear a liner, girl. You'll figure it out and you will own it. I love this color. All right, guys, I really hope that you found this video and demonstration helpful. If you know somebody, that needs just a little assistance with nudes, go ahead and just put this on your timeline. You don't have to tag them. Maybe, I don't know, put it in an inbox. Like, hey girl, I really like this video. I think you should check it out. No dirt, keep your hands clean. But we need to be helping people. So thank you guys to all of you who requested this video. I really hope that you found it helpful. I wanna know what your favorite nudes are because I'm a nude junkie and I can never have too many of them. And if you like this video, of course, share it, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe on your way out so you can see more how to and beauty tips just like this one. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you at the next video. Bye.